But every now and then you'd sleep over a real, a real white trash kid's house. Like when the parents aren't even there in the morning, then you know you're going to get the best cereal. That's when I first had Cookie Crisp or Count Chocula. You know, if you if there was a cigarette full of uh, if there was an ashtray full of cigarettes, and and I asked a kid where his parents were, and he's like, I don't know, and he just shrugged. I'm like, What do you got to eat? Because I knew it was going to be good. He'd pull out Lucky Charms. I was like, Your parents let you eat this? He's like, Yeah. So if you want to get back to that magic of sleeping over a, a kid's house whose parents were abusing him, if you want to find that magic that you've lost, getting so excited, waffle crisp, if you were eating Lucky Charms in the morning, it means if you were a kid, you were backhanded. You got backhanded a few times by dad when dad had had enough and by mom. But now there's Magic Spoon, a new cereal company that's discovered a way to recreate your favorite childhood cereals with zero sugar, 12 grams of protein, and only three net grams of carbs in each serving. So if you're a cereal freak, and some people are, you can indulge in an array of classic f- cocoa, fruity, frosted, and blueberry. Um, fruity is amazing. Blueberry is really good, too. I t- they, They've sent these to me. I've tested them. I really like the fruity one. It tastes really like Fruity Pebbles. Uh, not Fruity Pebbles. It tastes like um, Fruit Loops. Yes. Because they're loops. Magic Spoon is loops. They're loops. I didn't like the texture of, of, of the pebble cereals. No. Like Fruity Pebbles, Cocoa Pebbles. The kids that really like the pebble cereals are just standing over a strangled corpse. <laughs> right now and they don't know what to do. I also didn't like a cluster. Like when something was a cluster, like like the honey bunches of oats. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't into that either. I liked a, a fruit loop, a loop. Mm-hmm. I liked a golden graham or a, a cinnamon toast crunch. Mm-hmm. I liked apple jacks. I got apple jacks when the quarantine started. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got apple. I had a bowl of it, and then I said, what am I doing? And I threw it out. Um, but Apple Jacks is a fall cereal. It's for starting. It's, it's got a fall flavor. It makes you think of Halloween. It's got the orange and bright orange and green loops. Magic Spoon spent over a year working on a vaccine. Kidding. Best food scientists and chefs in the world. <laughs> what? Who are <laughs> working? <laughs> okay. Whatever. Um, listen, I trust them. They spent... The, it is good cereal, but they spent the best food scientists and chefs in the world are apparently working on a cereal for fatties. And they did recreate the taste and texture of classic sugary cereal. It really does. You really do say, hey, it takes you back to being in your white trash buddy's house, eating a big bowl of fucking, you know, Lucky Charms while his mother just, you know, is passed out in a room. And he's like, I can't try to wake my mother up before noon or I get hit. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, soy-free, low-carb, GMO-free. You've got to try Magic Spoon to believe it because it tastes amazing. Literally, guys, if you are doing keto and you like cereal and you love my show and you want to support it, this is the way to do it. Listen, people that have female audiences make millions and trillions of dollars podcasting. I have an audience mainly of men because I'm talking sense, but the problem with men is that they don't... (laughs) You know, I'm not recapping the Real Housewives or whatever else you uh, ladies are into. It's amazing to get, it's like gay, it's like everyone's like, oh, you're going to be gay, and then you have to be around a lot of women. It's like, wait, what? Um, I'm kidding. I have a very much respect for the ladies out there, and I love you, and I want more of you to listen, and I want you to buy the fucking products. Okay? That's what I really want to happen. I have a male audience. It's not my fault. It's the way it shook out. But the women who do listen to me are special women. They are bosses. They are gangsters. They run businesses. They are prostitutes. They are sex slaves. They are drug addicts. (laughs) They give themselves abortions. They are QAnon. (laughs) They're trying to steal people's children they think were kidnapped by... Sex cults. They are. They have QAnon tattooed on their pussy. These are special ladies. They think they were abducted and fucked by George Soros. 
The women that connect with my material have been to prison, not jail, prison. They've done a stretch or two. They've <laughs> killed their parents or their children or both. The women that connect to my show are special women. They've thought about hiring someone to kill their husband. They've thought about it. They've never done it, but they've thought about it. They sit in that suburban hell they've created for themselves, and they hear my voice, and they hear it as the voice of freedom, and they think, what would I have to do to just get this stupid lug out of my life and go do something that really speaks to my soul? And to them, I'm saying go to magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use our promo code, Tim Dillon, my name, T-I-M-D-I-L-L-O-N, because I want to make lots of money and I need the women to do it because men are stupid, apparently, and don't fucking buy anything and just binge free content because they think they've all got it figured out. You haven't got it figured out. You're nothing out there, men. I need women. I want an audience of 5,000 bitches <laughs> that just buy my shit. This show might turn around and be straight up catered to the fucking hoes. <laughs> I might come on the show and be like, I'm your hoe. That's where we're going. If you start buying Magic Spoon cereal, I'll do the show in fucking drag and I'll talk about whatever horse shit you want me to talk about. The Bachelor, Avocado Toast, cleaning out your asshole, whatever you want, I'm in, I'll do it. I don't have to blabber about the CIA to these broke fucks all the time. Who cares? These retards who go in their backyard and shoot at their tree. These fucking militiamen or wherever the fuck's listening, we'll get them out of here. We'll dump them on the side of the fucking road. I want bitches that spend money, Instagram influencers, basic bitches that spend, it's you who this ad is for. You are the ones that need to stay attractive, and you know why, because the world is unfair, and there's beauty standards, and all of that shit that I'll talk more about if you buy the Magic Spoon cereal. And if I find out you're not buying it, I will have no choice but to keep doing what I've kind of been doing, which is steer the content to more of a male domain, more of a kind of thinking-based show. It's a joke. It's funny because it's not true. Men are retarded. Women are retarded. Everyone's stupid. I forgot this isn't. Is this an ad still? <laughs> They're going to believe these people. I don't care. It's good cereal. Buy the cereal. I'm not, I'm not kidding anymore about this. I'm going to come to your house and I'm going to kill your family. If you don't buy the cereal, I swear to God, I'll select one of you at random. I'll come to your fucking house and I'll blow my brains out in front of you. And every day for the rest of your life, you'll see the gun going into my fat mouth as I blow my head off in front of you. If you do not buy this fucking cereal. Okay. Celebrity kid from Ozark, whose name I won't mention, buy the fucking cereal. Okay. You better stay thin. You know, you play that white trash. Whatever it is, they want you to be thin. You can't plump up. Don't get fat. It's all over for you. Buy the fucking cereal. Everybody listening, buy the cereal. Ryan Phillippe, if he still listens to this fucking show, buy the cereal, please. Buy the cereal. You get it, you're getting older. You keep in great shape. I, we get it. You run. It's fine. Buy the cereal. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. And God help you if you buy this fucking cereal and you don't use the promo Tim Dillon. If you buy the cereal and you do not use the promo code, I swear to God, I will drive L.A. homeless corona patients to your fucking house and I will let them in your back door and they will cough on all of your shit while you're out. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Use the code Tim Dillon for free shipping. And a big thanks to Magic Spoon for sponsoring us. Cereal. The times are... We're going to have some Magic Spoon, though, right now. This, yeah. We're not doing an ad read, but let's just have a little bit of it. This is the, uh, the fruit flavor here. You've still got some milk. Good. And the thing about Magic Spoon, folks, is that um, it cures Corona. It is a cure. It's a cure. It prevents, preventative. Mm -hmm. So whether you have Corona now or will have Corona, mm -hmm. you'll never have it now. 
Great thing about Magic Spoon cereal is that it's, uh, what is this? It's a loop. Oh. What is this? What are we even selling? <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's tasty. Never had it in my life. No, I'm kidding. I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I like it because it, you don't feel guilty, you know? I don't feel guilty after I eat anything. I should. But I know, but I, I'm now feeling more guilty because I'm starting to think about health because of COVID. I fucking, you know that I burn my mouth? And I, you ever burn your top of your mouth mm -hmm. and then cereal's like a razor? Yeah. It hurts so much. It hurts so fucking much, which is good because nobody wants to hear me chew for the rest of the podcast, but it just, there is nothing worse than the roof of your mouth being burnt being cut with the razor sharp edge of cereal. Mm -hmm. And there's people that have done that. There's probably people that are listening to the show that can identify with that. Just hot coffee, magic spoon. <laughs> Fucking hurts my mouth. But it won't hurt yours if you don't have a what do you think of it? Isn't it a nice cereal? I legitimately really like it. The the, the fruity flavor is the best flavor. It's good. I mean it listen good. It's good. It's it's low, you know, low and low in what it has to be and high in the what it has to be as well. You know, it's both low and the bad and high and the good. And that's all we ask. And you don't feel shitty after you eat it. Breakfast is a knife fight. You know what I mean? It's a real knife fight, this market, for healthy cereal. Yeah. When you get Kashi, you fucking Tiva wearing dyke. Put the Kashi down. It sucks. It's not good. I've never told you this, but when I was a young uh, boy, I loved cereal. And my best friend was a kid named uh, <sighs> Paul. Okay? Why are you laughing? Because it seems like you're making this up. No, it's, it's not what's happening right now. Okay. I'm sharing something that's very deep and personal to me, and that's why it's taken me a little bit to get it out. But I think you assuming that I'm, it just shows the type of person you are. Okay? What did I say his name was? I think Paul. Paul was my best friend <laughs> that I've ever had. He was a good kid, and he believed uh, in the same values and ideals that I believed in. Freedom, democracy, the markets. And Paul had a tough home life. It was a hard life. It was, it was not easy. You know? Uh... His parents had a rough marriage, and they were fond of the bottle. And they liked to drink. They liked to throw a few back. And then they would uh, mercilessly beat him. And that was tough for him. But, but there were good times, you know? There were good times. Do you know what he loved? What? He loved cereal. He loved cereal. He would come over to my house black and blue and bleeding. And and I would say, hey, hey, let's have a bowl of Lucky Charms. And he would love it. I mean, he would take his mind off the beatings. I mean, they used to go at him. I mean, there was, I went to call for him. You know, you go call for somebody, like when you have friends, you go, can I call for my friend, you know? Mm -hmm. Your parents go, yeah, and then you go knock at their door, hey, can Paul play? I mean, one time I went, and they, they both had hockey sticks out, and in the backyard, they were just going at him. I thought he was dead, because he was no longer moving, and they were just hitting him with the hockey sticks. And they were making a game out of it. I don't know, they were weird people. Um, not without, they were fun, you know, not without their own, there were characters, but they were just, you know, hitting what appeared to be his lifeless body with hockey sticks in the, in the backyard. I don't even know where they got the sticks <laughs> if they even played hockey. It was a horrible thing to see. It was a horrible thing to see. Now, when they saw me, they looked at me and they didn't stop. That was even weirder. They saw me, and then they just kept beating him and hitting him with sticks. And I, I said, "Whoa!" And I went, I, I went up to him. Eventually, they, they, they stopped. 
And I went off to him and I carried him. He was, I carried him, you know, like Christ when he went off the cross. I carried him back to my house and I kind of, I nursed him back to life with Lucky Charms. Now he's dead now. Uh, his parents cooked him and ate him. <laughs> now that is neither here nor there. Because if he was alive today, he would want to eat Lucky Charms because they reminded him of the good times in his childhood, of which there were admittedly few. Mm-hmm. And But he wouldn't want the sugars. He wouldn't want it. He, he kept himself good. So he would take he would get Magic Spoon, which is a new cereal company that's discovered a way to recreate your favorite childhood cereals with zero sugar, 12 grams of protein, and only three net grams of carbs in each serving. It tastes too good to be true. With Magic Spoon, you can indulge in an array of classic flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and blueberry. Fruity is, 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 is the best one. It tastes like, uh, you know, uh, Fruit Loops. But get a variety pack. Taste all four. See what's good for you. Magic Spoon spent over a year working with the best food scientists and chefs in the world. One time they were they put his head in a fish tank. And I, I didn't even understand it, but they they put his head in a fish tank and he they had turned them upside down. They were like giving him a swirly in the fish tank. And they, they were doing it so hard they broke the glass and everything. It was like, what did he do to deserve that? You know what I mean? But no matter what they did, time after time, the best, the biggest smile, he had no teeth one, once, and I had to grind up the Lucky Charms and feed them to him like a paste. <laughs> but he loved cereal. I, if that dog, if that dog does not go to fucking bed, I'm, I'm watching my friend's dog right now. This is a t- I'm going to kill him. My friend is a fucking... Dude, he fucking snowballed me, dude, and I should never. I will never take this dog again. Yeah, this dog is a literal terrorist, and and I, I, my friend and his wife are 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 flying to Tahoe for the weekend. I took their dog, which they lied, said it's like a well well trained dog. It's absolutely not trained, and I hope their plane crashes. By the way, I, did it just get out through your door? I don't think so. Maybe okay. it's giving up. MagicSpoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Grabbing a variety pack. It's MagicSpoon.com slash Tim Dillon. You got to grab a variety pack, okay? Use the code Tim Dillon for free shipping. One time at Christmas, they gave him a Christmas present, and he opened it up, and they had both shit in a box, (laughs) and they made him eat it, and he almost died from eating their shit. So again... You know, and you know what's crazy? They weren't the worst parents. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Grab a variety pack. Do it for me and do it for my dead friend who loves cereal, whose parents beat him to death, cooked him, Mm -hmm. and ate him. Never got charged. (laughs) Are still free. Claim he ran away. We know better. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. When I was a kid, my favorite cereal was Lucky Charms, and my parents would never buy them for me. But I love sugar cereals. In fact, many fat people get hooked on sugar cereals when they're children. That's why the cereals are always three feet. All the bad cereals are low. They're like three or four feet Tall so that the kids can, they're on the eye line of the child in the store, the child can grab them. It's an old advertising trick, old marketing trick, okay? But here, no tricks, just goodness. Magic Spoon cereal is one of my favorites. You can indulge in any of the classic flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, or blueberry, plus a variety pack that lets you try all four. My favorite flavor is fruity. It tastes like Fruit Loops, exactly. It simulates the experience you've had when you're eating Fruit Loops, um... At, at, at your grandparents' house when you are a child and life made sense. Magic Spoon spent over a year working with the best food scientists and chefs in the world to recreate the taste and texture, and that's the most important thing, of classic sugary cereal, but it tastes so incredible that you'd never guess it was healthy. It's keto-friendly? What? Gluten-free? Fuck you! Grain-free? Fuck your mother! Soy-free? What? Low-carb? I'll kill you where you stand! And GMO-free. You've got to try to believe it. It tastes amazing. 
Everybody loves Magic Spoon. Everybody buys it. It's a little pricey, but what is the price you put on your health and your children's health? Mm -hmm. If you have children, you need to get them on this cereal. I'm telling you right now. Otherwise, they're going to grow up to be fat little pigs. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Grab a variety pack and try it today. Our promo code is Tim Dillon at checkout. You get free shipping. It's easy. It's my name. I love this cereal. I eat it. Everyone in Hollywood eats it. Uh, it's, it's and, and, and if you hate Hollywood, everyone in your favorite culture eats it, whether it's sports or the Trump family all eats it. Everyone at Fox News eats it. It's Tucker Carlson's favorite. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want, whatever you like. You know, everybody eats this. The Democrats, the Republicans, everybody. You want to know what Jeffrey Epstein's last meal was? Magic Spoon cereal. He had it and he said, nothing could possibly be better than this, so I'm going to hang myself right after it. After he had Magic Spoon's fruity flavor, he, he said to one of the guards, he goes, what is this? And the guard goes, it's, it's some keto cereal. Epstein goes, this is keto? And the guy's like, yeah. And Epstein goes, String me up <laughs> because I don't believe it. I call me crazy, but if the cereal could taste this good and be keto, there's nothing else good coming. We've reached the zenith point mm -hmm. of civilization. Hang me from this bed that looks like it would be hard to hang me from because I'm six foot something. So, and, and he did it and he did it out of joy. He was so happy. Uh, magic spoon cereal. It's just, I love it. You love it. The kids love it. Everybody loves it. Get your little fat kids fucking hands off the bad shit and get them on the magic spoon. Mm -hmm. If you're, you should be arrested for child abuse with what you serve to the kids, child abuse, go through any grocery store. Everything that's aimed for kids is like disgusting. It's like, uh, s'mores pudding pops, you know, with Jolly Rancher sauce, deep fried. And it's grotesque. Give them something nice, something that they'll remember, and they'll they'll they'll, they'll grow up to to love you, not like you know the way fucking you know uh, I feel about my family, which is I I it's a strong like, but I also if they were killed in a drone strike, I would I would say ah uh, yeah yeah. So uh, the way I feel is you go to magicspoon.com slash tim dylan magicspoon.com slash tim dylan, eat it. If you're, get, if you're getting ready for a wedding, if you're getting ready for a wedding, man, this is it. If you're trying to lose weight, you want to use the summer to get in shape, you're quarantined, you can't go out anyway, get, get that summer bod ready for next summer, you know, when all the oceans are running bled, red with the blood of the whatever. Um, but you'll still look hot. You'll still look hot. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Really try it. I, would, I, I, I am the most honest person in the country. And I'm telling you right now, I've eaten this cereal. I've enjoyed the cereal. I will enjoy the cereal again. And I will never, I will not speak to my parents until they start eating this cereal. Do you know what my favorite cereal was a kid was? What? Lucky Charms. Mm. Do you know why? Why? Because it tasted like sugar. And I love sugar. Because I was from a bad family. Mm -hmm. And many kids are getting addicted to sugar. And it is unfortunate. Many people have a, have a crippling addiction in this country to sugar. But I've lost 700 pounds in the last year. And do you know how I've done that? No. I started eating a cereal called Magic Spoon. When I started this year, I was 1,000 pounds. Now I'm down to a svelte around 300, probably under. We don't know. But it's all been because of Magic Spoon cereal because every time I want a cocoa fruity frosted snack, instead of going out and face fucking myself <laughs> with every available option of food, what I do is I go and I eat some Magic Spoon. And you can get it by going to magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon to grab a variety pack of this zero sugar. Are you ready for this? Wake the fuck up. Zero sugar, 12 grams of protein, and only three net grams of carbs in each serving. What's your favorite cereal? The fruity one from no, Magic Spoon. No, I'm, don't be a fucking chill for a minute. I'm oh. trying to have a conversation with you. What's your actual favorite cereal? I like Smacks. Smacks the one with the frog. Yeah, yeah. God, you are a Nazi. <laughs> Smacks has killed several people. 
It's true. You know that? You never heard that, the smack stroke? No, no. People have a stroke in the middle of eating it, and they go, and they drop to the floor. Ray Comp spoke regular until he was eating smacks. Smacks is not that good, dude. I like it. I mean, it's really not that good. I mean, I haven't had it in 15 years. People think I'm abusive to you, but this is why (laughs) I'm abusive to him, because he says retarded things. He says stupid things, not retarded. You know what I mean. I don't want to offend anybody out there, especially retards. This is a keto. This is a keto friendly cereal. It's gluten free. It's grain free. Soy free. Low carb. GMO free. You've got to try Magic Spoon to believe it because it tastes amazing. Um, you know, I was a. I love Golden Grams. I love Lucky Charms. I love Pops. I love. Uh, I love uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. King shit. Honey Nut Cheerios. Mm. Uh, I didn't mind the fucking, you know, uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, yeah. maybe a little Waffle Crisp here and there. But then you're starting to get a little too ridiculous when you got into that, you know. Um, but I'll tell you this. When I eat Magic Spoon, I feel like I'm a kid again. Yeah, I feel like I'm a child again. I feel like I'm stealing cigarettes from my friend's mother and smoking them in a place we called Oil City. I feel like I'm taking a, a drive with a guy named Hector and Sonia who are not a couple, but we're fucking. And then later he found out she had a family. I feel like we're taking that car into South Jamaica, Queens to get cocaine from a guy named Albert. Uh, I feel like a child again. Like, I feel like a kid. I feel like I was, uh, you know, me and my buddy were dropping acid on stage in my eighth grade graduation. I feel like that type of just kind of that innocent childlike life, you know, and What takes me back there is when I eat Magic Spoon cereal, it takes me back to when I had no cares in the world, you know, except drug dealers I owed money that had weapons. But I want people to truly try this cereal. Do it for me. If you don't want to do it for your own health, do it for me, right? Mm -hmm. Because I knew a, a woman who was a big, big, big girl. She was a big girl. And they wanted her to lose weight, and she couldn't lose weight because she just kept eating uh, sugar. And then she ordered the Magic Spoon cereal. And do you know who that woman is today? Melania Trump. Okay? So understand what I'm fucking saying here. Okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? Every Epstein girl was fed Magic Spoon cereal on the island. Every single one. And they said that's the one part of their experience that they don't regret. They said they'd go back there and take Alan Alan Dershowitz's hog if they could get that cereal again. This is a fact. This is what they said. I'm reading court transcripts. Okay? Don't get mad at me. The Epstein victim said they would gladly suck off Alan Dershowitz in his old schlong again, which was unwashed per them, if they could get a bowl of Magic Spoon cereal because that was what they uh, served everybody on the island because they didn't want them to crash. They didn't want the sugar to crash. So they wanted people to be perky and pepped up. Naturally, Magic Spoon cereal. It is the cereal, the official cereal of Little St. James. Magic Spoon cereal. Chislaine Maxwell has said, it's so good I can't believe it has no fucking sugar. That's from the mouth of, that's from the mouth of, you know, the boss. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, go to magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon if you want to eat the official cereal of Jeffrey Epstein's Island. Do you understand me? Tim Dillon at free, free shipping. You get free shipping, dummy. You know how much it costs to ship that little St. James? They actually named Magic Spoon on Little St. James because there was a trick where someone took a spoon. All right, forget it, but Magic Spoon. (laughs) It's a joke. Freddie, we're listening, please. Get fucking lawyers. Leave me alone. Magic Spoon. Go, go, Go attack other people here, okay? We got other people. I'm making jokes. Got other people that need you to keep an eye on them in this town, not me. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Use the code Tim Dillon for free shipping. And thanks to Magic Spoon for not only sponsoring us, but sponsoring Little St. James. Mm-hmm. And 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 uh, it's the official cereal of Gislaine like Maxwell. Thank you. I love cereal, but I also love health. Let's be honest. There's nothing more important to me than my health and cereal. I love a nice fresh start in the morning. Do you like a nice fresh start? Love it. 
I like to get up, eat a nice cereal, get up, run 10, 15 miles, and then start my day um, by going going to the gym after I run and then taking a swim. And I swim in a lake. I have a lake house. And then as as I'm done with that, I, I, I say mass because I'm a, 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 a deacon. When I say mass, I don't give communion. I don't have that power. I say mass, and then I and, and then I pray to uh, Allah, because I'm Muslim as well and Jewish. I'm all of the religions, so I, I have a religious ceremony for all of those religions after my workout. And I love Magic Spoon cereal because it's a company that has zero sugar, twelve grams of protein, and three net grams of carbs in each serving. It tastes too good to be true. We all know we all have cravings, sugar cravings. Those sugar cereals we ate when we were a kid. They market them to children. That's why they put them on the the lower level at the store because they're on the eye line with the kids. That's how sick these Madison Avenue advertising fucks are. But it's effective, and we all remember these from when we were a kid. But what you can remember now is magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon because what if I told you I could give you that exact cereal with zero sugar, 12 grams of protein, and only three net grams of carbs, okay? Sugar is a very insulogenic food, okay? And that is not good. It causes inflammation. It drives the insulin up and down and all over the place, you know, but you need, you want steady. Steady wins the race. So... What you do is you eat magic spoons here. There's many people that are committed to losing weight but can't stop eating sugary cereals. Many people that are like, I'm going to lose weight, but I need to eat Cocoa Pebbles. There's got to be four of those people that are really committed to losing weight, but they also... But in all seriousness, these are great snacks. If you have a snack and you are really, really into it... um. You know, it's, it's, it, it helps you through the day. You, you go, oh, that's nice. That tastes like sugar, even though it's not. You're tricking yourself. And what's then happening is you're enabling yourself to stay on your path. Stay in ketosis. Stay in paleo. Stay in low carb. I don't know if this is probably not paleo, but who cares? It's all fake. Except Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is so confident, and their product is backed by 100% happiness guarantee. If you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. Nobody wants a refund on this stuff. It's really good. They send it to me all the time. We eat it. It's great. My favorite flavor is the fruity flavor. It tastes exactly like Fruit Loops, which were a great cereal from when I was a child. You could get it in cocoa, fruity, frosted, or blueberry. Blueberry is really fun. You put some bananas, some strawberries in there. All of a sudden, you're like, what happened to me? What happened to me? So go to magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon to grab a variety pack. Try it today. If you need to, if you want to diet or if you want to just give your kids a healthier alternative or yourself a healthier alternative, you enjoy my podcast, you like this show, go to magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon, T-I-M-D-I-L-L-O-N. Try it today. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product. I already read this, so you get it. Okay? That's magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Use the code Tim Dillon for free shipping. Okay? Because, listen... We all need something to get us through these trying times. Magic spoon is that thing. Not heroin spoon. Not junky spoon. Magic spoon. Okay? Thank you. Magic spoon is my favorite cereal. It has zero sugar, 11 grams of protein, and three net car... Net pluck, 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 pluck. I should have had more Magic Spoon cereal. Now I'm having a stroke. Four flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and blueberry. It tastes amazing. It's like the cereals you had as a kid. Everybody loves it. Greg Gutfeld of Fox News, who many of you hate, and that's probably maybe some of that is justifiable. I don't know. He's very nice to me. He retweets me. But, uh, you know, he likes it. He said something nice about it today. Don't fucking use his code if he has one. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. This is a cereal to get your kids hooked on. If they like sugary shit, get them this cereal because it's very low in sugar, very low in carbs. It is high protein, okay? This is a very healthy cereal that mimics the flavor of the sugary cereals you had as a kid, okay? It's, if, you're, if you're on a keto diet, this is definitely on there. If you go to magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon, magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon, post a photo of you with Magic Spoon. I will repost it on my Instagram. And then I will select one lucky winner to see my show at Madison Square Garden next <laughs> week where I'm performing in Madison Square Garden with Billie Eilish. So how about that? Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon, but I will repost it on the Instagram. And I'll plug... Your information, I'll say follow whatever. 
if you do that. But you got to show me with the magic spoon that you bought with my promo code. Don't lie. We're going on the honor system. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Use the code Tim Dillon for free shipping. Free shipping's big. Cereal's not that pricey for what it is. How pricey is life? How expensive is death? You don't want to leave your family with a burden. Live. Magic Spoon, and I've said it before, is the official cereal of Little St. James. Everybody ate Magic Spoon on the island. That's why they look so good. It's good. Trust me. I wouldn't lie to you. I'm not a liar. Am I a liar? I'm a pathological liar. Not about this. Not about this. No, sir. You put the cereal in the bowl and you eat it and you shut your mouth with the magic spoon in it. And what happens is you're then healthy. You're a healthy boy or girl or a non-binary, gender non-specific organism that deserves all the respect like anyone else. Just put the cereal in your throat. Put it in your throat. Wouldn't that be great if like these were old school cereal ads like cornflakes? Like that was cornflakes motto. They were like, put it in your throat. Cheerios. Cheerios is fake. Oh, it's uh, heart healthy. No, it's everyone who has cereal Cheerios dies. Everyone who eats plain Cheerios is a racist. Not honey nut. Uh, but plain Cheerios, they are racists. You like racism? Keep doing that. Uh, you're not a racist. This might not be a great pitch for this audience, but magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon and use the code Tim Dillon for free shipping. Do it. Post it. Tag me. I'll repost it. Let's start a revolution. A cereal revolution. Growing up, I loved cereal. Um, it was one of my favorite things. Um, one, of, one of my favorite things was if I ate cereal loudly enough, because it was a la- it's a loud, crunchy food. If I ate it loudly enough, I could drown out the sound of my parents screaming at each other about money. And when you, when you have a real good crunch, you, you don't hear the screaming, the endless screaming about money that they did every night because they were both lazy uh, pieces of shit. But what's important here is that we don't eat sugar. I mean, we can all, we can all be honest about that, right? No matter how we choose to raise or not raise our children, what's important is that we don't feed them sugar. And if you care about your children, many of you don't. But let's just say you do, or if you care about your bodies, and many of you don't. But I'll tell you this. This is the sugar cereal without sugar. How? It has zero grams of sugar, 11 grams of protein, and only three net grams of carbs in each serving. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, and GMO-free. It comes in four flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and blueberry. Okay, I like fruity because it tastes exactly like Fruit Loops, and I really enjoy Fruit Loops. I will list now sugar cereals that I like. I like Apple Jacks, but only in the fall. I enjoyed Lucky Charms, but whatever. I liked Corn Pops. I liked, obviously, Honey Nut Cheerios. I liked uh, (sighs) Fruit Loops. I was never a Pebbles kid. I was never into like Cookie Crisp or Count Chocula or Cocoa Pebbles or Cocoa Crispy or any of that horse shit. Rice Krispies is fun every now and then. Like if I was going sugar cereal, I'm going. I mean, I wasn't even that much into Waffle Crisp or stuff like that. I think Ben was a Waffle Crisp kid. What were you? Like what was your sinful cereal? What was your cereal that you really? Smacks and stuff like that. Yeah, Frosted Smacks Flakes is, is good. okay. I like Frosted Flakes. Smacks is okay, but like. Do you ever get an Apple Jacks? A little bit, yeah. Dude, I love Golden Grams. That was my shit. Cinnamon Toast Crunch was my shit. Do you ever get into... Uh... What What are you laughing at? Uh, I did, uh, what were you about to say? 
I'm asking you if you well, what cereals you're into. We're, we're gonna say Captain Crunch. You're, you're laughing like a psychopath, like the Joker over there. I'm I'm trying to talk to you about the the product that's advertising on the show. Uh, I've had Captain Crunch. I like it, but then they got nuts with the Crunch Berries and shit. But I enjoyed Captain Crunch. What else? Tell me other cereals. Honeycomb. What? The honeycomb. Remember the yeah, little honeycomb Yeah, I actually guy? had that a few times. I did enjoy it. It's not bad. Yeah. Magic Spoon is really good because it simulates the experience of all of the cereals that we've mentioned, all these sugar cereals that you've not had since you're a kid and you crave, especially if you're on a keto diet. It's very hard to have three keto meals. Right now, this is one of your meals. It's a literal meal. It's perfect. 11 grams of protein. You do a little yogurt with it, some fruit, and at the end, you know, you know, keto approved fruit, of course. Um, and you, you've wiped one meal off the planning of the day, you know? Um, and that's so important for planning. It's, it's so easy. It's, you don't need to meal prep it. It's right there. It goes right in the thing. You go to magicspoon.com, Tim Dillon, grab a variety pack, try it today. Use our promo code Tim Dillon at checkout. Now, some people come to me and they go, oh, Tim, the cereal is a little expensive. And I'm like, well, what do you think, you know, the operation is going to be to drain your daughter's diabetic foot? You think that'll be expensive? You think it's going to be expensive? <laughs> like when, they ha when they're literally draining sewage out of your, your fat child? <laughs> do you think that'll be expensive? When they have to take your Violet Beauregard fat blueberry of a daughter and take her into the juicing part of the Wonka factory? Because that's what the fuck it is out there. So maybe spend a little fucking money and invest in some health. Go to magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Magic Spoon is a cereal. It is sugar-free. It is keto for you and me. I think they, Magic Spoon should have like a, a, the way they market children's cereals. Mm -hmm. They should market it to adults with like a fun kind of song. Like, are you fat and disgusting? <laughs> Do you hate yourself? Can you not stand the sight of yourself in a mirror? Does it make you physically sick? <laughs> Do you look at the plastic people on Instagram? And do you want to be one of them? Is your voice like Tim Dillon's that sounds like a cigarette lodged in phlegm? <laughs> Are you unhappy with your life? Is your sex life incomplete? Are you homeless on the street? That's because you're not eating Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is for an interesting group of people. People are very serious about their health, but need to eat sugar cereal in the morning. They need to feel like they're eating Reese's Puffs or Fruit Loops, but they're serious. It's like I read a blog the other day about people who do a keto Taco Bell. We're going to do that on the Patreon. It's hilarious. Okay. And they just dump the goop from the Taco Bell in a container <laughs> for the people that need to do keto but need to be a Taco Bell. Interesting. It's literally slime. It's a slime <laughs> in a container that they eat in the parking lot. It's keto. Zero sugar, 11 grams of protein, three net grams of carbs per serving. There are four flavors, cocoa, fruity, frost, and blueberry. And we just got two new ones. Uh, honey nut, didn't love, but, and uh, Reese's, the, the puffs, the peanut butter, really good. Mm. Really good, the peanut butter. That's up there with fruity, but fruity's, I think, better. Um, oh. I don't know if we're allowed. Okay. Well, there's, it's saying me not to mention another flavor, but I haven't. I haven't mentioned that flavor. Right. But I've mentioned the other two. Which I think is okay, because I was not told not to. But here's the deal, folks. It is a good cereal. It is a tasty cereal. It is a nice cereal. Do you like cereal? Do you want to stay healthy? Do you want to get healthy? I just think it should be fun. Like, it should be like a... You know how they had, like, the Honey Nut Bee? Mm -hmm. Like, there's always mascots. You have the Lucky Charms Leprechaun. Who are some other cereal mascots? The Tricks Rabbit. The Tricks Rabbit. The honeycomb uh, little guy that spins. Uh, the Apple Jacks guy, too. Who's the Apple Jacks guy? Uh, well, there was the Jamaican cinnamon stick, and then there was the little apple, and they would, like, smash into each other in the commercial, and it'd be like Apple Jacks. It's like how it came to be. Interesting. The Jamaican, what was the Jamaican cinnamon stick's name? Be very careful. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know his name? I don't know. I'm just saying Magic Spoon should have, like, a, a mascot. 
like a uh, like maybe a fat guy who keeps telling you what diet he's on, <laughs> at a, you know, and you just have to stare at him and nod and go, yeah, oh, good. You know? <laughs> that should be the mascot of Magic Spoon. Just a fat guy telling you, I said, I'm eating a new, I'm on a cereal-based diet. I have ants like that. They'll tell you every every three weeks there's a new, like I'm just eating green powder. <laughs> Nothing ever changes. There are things I'd ever even heard of. They're on like diets from the like 80s. They're like, I'm on Nutrisystem. Like what? That's still around. They're like, I'm on Wellness Plus. <laughs> what? She's like, a doctor sends me three syringes every day and I put them in my ass. So I think the magic spoon diet, they should just come up with a diet where it's just three <laughs> yes. bowls of cereal every day. Yeah. You need to have a fad diet, paleo keto. Just have the magic spoon diet. Have three bowls of cereal every day. Two snacks, three bowls of cereal. Here's what magic spoon should do. I don't even want to give them the suggestion because I feel like I should get a little money. Truly. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should get a little scratch. Cereal bars. Oh. Right? Yeah. To go as a snack. Yeah. Now they'll probably come out with that and then not give me any fucking money <laughs> because I, all I do is help these people. I don't even have cereal in my I need cereal. They didn't even send me free cereal. I'm sitting here like a... But I just think they should come up with a mascot and I think it should be like an annoying fat guy or fat woman mm -hmm. um, who lectures people about diets in a very specific way. Mm -hmm. Like it should be a fat woman at a party who goes, leptin regulates your insulin. That's why you got to have a cheat day. <laughs> <laughs> She knows more about diets than anyone else. She right. knows she's like a doctor. She's a nutritionist, but she's 400 pounds. You got to keep your body guessing. That's why I have a cheat day. Give me the clam dip. I eat sugar cereal six times a day. <laughs> How do you keep that figure, Dawn? Sugar cereal. Magic spoon. There's no sugar in it. Go to magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon to grab a variety pack. Magicspoon.com. Use the code T-I-M-D-I-L-L-O-N for free shipping. And we thank Magic Spoon for sponsoring the podcast. Magic Spoon cereal is a no-sugar, low-carb, keto cereal that fits into any diet plan. It, it replicates all the sugar cereals that you had as a kid, whether it be Fruity Pebbles, my favorite flavor, they have Fruity, whether it be Reese's Puffs, they have a peanut butter flavor. It's really, really good. Dan, my opener, loves... The peanut butter flavor, uh, you know, because he's Florida trash. But still, I think it's very important, especially if you're on any type of diet, to, to be able to substitute a bowl of cereal for a meal replacement or a snack. It's very good. Magic Spoon is some of the healthy. Yes, it costs a little bit of money because they're using, like, monk fruit extract and really, really like, expensive high-end ingredients to sweeten it so they don't have to use sugar. It doesn't kick you out of ketosis. doesn't fuck you up. And they also don't use these crazy sugar alcohols. It's really all natural. So it's really important that if you're making an investment, you're making an investment in your health. I love Magic Spoon cereal. You know, I I feel like there are people that don't understand how much Magic Spoon has changed my life. You know? You know, before Magic Spoon cereal, I was a cannibal. I've never even told you this. I didn't know that. I used to eat people. I would eat the skin of a person. I would cook it and eat it. And it's uncomfortable to discuss this. But and a few of those people I, I killed, hookers and truckers, and I would cook them. And I would eat their flesh, which was keto, technically. Maybe not. I think it was. Some of them had sugar in their blood, probably. But when I tried Magic Spoon cereal, I, I stopped doing that. I stopped murdering whores and eating them. And I started eating Magic Spoon cereal. And I went to the police and I confessed. <laughs> and they refused to put me in jail because they said every, they said, hey, hey, white guy. That's what they called me. I said, I just killed a bunch of whores and ate them. They said, hey, white guy, we all have moments in our life we're not proud of. They said, what made you stop that? I said, I'm eating a keto cereal, very low in sugar. And I shared it with them. We all ate Magic Spoon cereal. And, uh, and they helped me. Magic Spoon cereal is the official cereal of the police. <laughs> <laughs> I 
So if you support the cops, support Magic Spoon cereal. A, a, a dollar from every box of Magic Spoon cereal is donated to uh, Derek Chauvin's legal fund. <laughs> Sometimes I do it just so we get the call. <laughs> Because sometimes we're bored. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what is the offer here for these people? None of that's true, folks, of course. Uh, magicspoon.com. Tap the cannibal. I did eat people. <laughs> magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Use the code, code Tim Dillon for free shipping. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Use the code Tim Dillon for free shipping. It's a great cereal. I really love it. They're coming out with new flavors all the time. It's a great way to stay healthy and stay fit. I'll probably have some of it when I get back to Palm Spring. Yeah, and they'll refund you if you don't like it. So if you don't like it, they'll not? refund you. But you're gonna like it, folks. Stop. Magic Spoon. That's gonna be. You know how we have Ridge Wallet. Yum. <laughs> the Magic Spoons one is gonna be Magic Spoon. When I was a kid. You know this story. This is a famous story from my life. Yes. When I was a kid, I went to my friend's house, and he had Lucky Charms. Mm -hmm. And I was so jealous. Because even though my family was not healthy, they refused to buy me Lucky Charms. Now, my friend's parents were drunks at the local bar who would beat him and, and each other. And he had a horrible life. It was very, very, very hard. Mm -hmm. um, it was a dirty house, filthy, smelled like cats, smelled like piss. And he'd get knocked around pretty seriously by them. You know, I'm talking close fist. Mm -hmm. now, and, and as I get older, I blame them less because he was a little mouthy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was a little mouthy. And I'm not saying he was always in the wrong, but knowing him, more and more made me feel less bad for him. I mean, they would just stomp him out. Just stomp him out. Sometimes we'd uh, knock on the door, go, can beep, play. And they'd be like, hold on. And then you just hear, ah! But were they parents of the year? No. But, um, that is a weird thing, like the kid on the block that gets abused, but you agree with the parents. You know what I mean? And you picture the kid getting beaten and you cheer for... Yeah. You know the kid that's just such a piece of shit? Mm -hmm. You're like, yeah, I hope. You hear just... Ah! And you're like, yeah, I got him. Um, but, he, but he had uh, Lucky Charms. Mm. And I remember tasting those. Like, nothing tastes better than a bowl full of Lucky Charms in a house that smells like cat piss mm. with your friend who has a bloody nose because mm -hmm. he ran his mouth. You see? I've been trying to recapture that feeling since I was a, a young man. I've been trying to figure out how, how can I get back the smell of piss and blood, how? The smell of dirty cat dander, which is really just the urine that har in the fur and the dander and the allergies. Mm -hmm. The filthy clothes, it always smelled like engine oil or it's grotesque. It's dark. Like, think of the dad from Forrest Gump who used to rape Jenny. Think of him and think of, uh, I don't know, um, um, a bad mother. Leathery, dirty, smelly, violent people who beat the living shit out of their son when they were drunk. But great sugary cereal. He would show up to school bloodied and battered with a full tummy mm -hmm. of Lucky Charms. I've been trying to recreate that. Someone came up to me and said, have you tried maggot, Magic Spoon? I say Maggot Spoon? <laughs> Did some, somebody came up to me and said, have you tried Magic Spoon? I said, well, you shut the fuck up. They said, you got to do it. It's a cereal that fits in with the keto plan. 
It has zero sugar, 11 grams of protein, and only three net grams of carbs in each serving. There are four flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, and blueberry. It tastes amazing. Honestly, too good to be true. It is keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, and GMO-free. I mean, when one of their hands would start hurting, the other one would just start wailing them. It was that kind of house. Mm -hmm. One of them would take a break, crack a brew, and then the other one, when he would go to get up, they would just... So Magic Spoon is great cereal, and it helps our show. And if you buy it, it helps you. And you could give it to your kids. You don't have to beat them. You could just give them Magic Spoon. You go to magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon for free shipping. We love them. We appreciate that they support this podcast. Because we were all kids and we all want those sugary cereals. Oh, yeah. One day, I was a child. And I was eating a breakfast cereal. And it had lots of sugar in it. I forget which one it was, but it was colorful sugary and it made me feel like I was the king of the world you know mm -hmm. I was eating that cereal in my house and uh, I was a victim of a brutal home invasion did you know this I've never heard of this did, you, did I tell you about this home invasion mm -hmm. there's a brutal home invasion and <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing it's, it's very traumatic for me <laughs> now the men came in the men were they were uh they were masked they had masks on and not covid masks ski masks and they came in and they had guns and i was very scared but not that scared and they grabbed my mother by the hair and they put a gun in her mouth and, I, and that would have upset me more, but she was being very nasty that morning. She was being very rude, very nasty. And there was something about kind of seeing that. I was still scared, but I was less. I was kind of like, you know, it's good that everybody gets a little comeuppance, if you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. And then I, they hit my father with, a, with the butt of the gun in the back of his head, and he fell down. And then they looked at me, and I looked at them. And I was just frozen, and they said, keep eating that cereal. They said, that's some good shit. I said, thank you. And I said, are you going to kill my parents? They said, no, no, what's wrong with you? We're just robbing the house. I'm like, well, you might as well, as well get rid of them, right? They said, no. And they left. And my parents woke up, you know, and we went on about our lives. But I remember sitting there eating that cereal and having them point at me and going, you keep eating that cereal, king. I said, you're a king. I was like, that's right. I wanted to recreate that feeling, that great feeling of watching my parents <laughs> get attacked while I ate a sugary cereal. So what I do is I go to magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon because Magic Spoon is so healthy. It has zero sugar, 11 grams of protein, and only three net carbs in each serving. There are four flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted, blueberry. It tastes amazing. Honestly, too good to be true. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, GMO-free. You know? I love the fruity flavor. It tastes like Fruit Loops. So if you go to magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon to grab a variety pack and try it today, be sure to use promo code Tim Dillon at checkout to get free shipping. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it's backed by a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. But everybody likes it. Everybody likes Magic Spoon. We have it all over the place. We eat it. Mm -hmm. And I like it because it reminds me of my childhood and the great memories. The great memories. I remember that. My mother was like, you, you better do better in school. And then the door opened up and they just, gun right in her mouth. And I just kind of looked at her like, what were you saying? <laughs> what were you saying about school? What were you saying about school? And my father comes in, what's going on? Right to the ground. And I, uh, I, I appreciate those men because those men recognized in me, they saw something in me. They saw potential. They saw a leader. 
And they said, this guy should just eat his cereal. So they pounded me out. They're like, King, it's back when you could pound. You didn't have to do that dumb elbow shit because of COVID. They pounded me out. My favorite memory as a child. <laughs> Why are you saying no? no I'm just, uh, Why are you saying no? I'm not. I'm, I'm, this is my show. I'm saying <laughs> what my favorite yeah. memory as a child okay, is. Go ahead. Go ahead. My favorite memory <laughs> as a child <laughs> I mean, you're really losing your mind right now. You're like a, you're like overtired. Mm. My favorite memory of uh, as a child <laughs> was eating sugar cereal. Okay. 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 Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. At my friend's house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. Okay. Now, we would eat sugar cereal every morning. Mm. We would eat. Things like Lucky Charms, Count Chocula. And I've been trying to replicate that feeling ever since as an adult. And I needed to find a cereal with zero sugar, 11 grams of protein, and only three grams of carbs, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. In each serving with natural fruit flavors and, and extracts that replace sugar. And I was able to do that. You know, ask me what happened to my friend that I used to eat the magic, uh, not magic, hold on. The sugary cereal. The sugar cereal. What, what happened? What happened to your friend that you used to eat sugary cereal? His parents hit him with a car. Magic spoon <laughs> cereal is a great cereal. It's like you're eating the sugar cereals as a child, mm -hmm. but you're not. You're eating a very healthy alternative. If you're doing a ketogenic diet, if you're doing a paleo diet, if you're doing, well, not paleo really, but whatever, high protein diet, a, a, a sugar elimination diet, it's very hard to find things to eat. You don't want to eat steak all day. You don't, you need to taste something a little sweet, the texture of cereal. So a magic spoon will help eliminate one of the meals, right? You have three meals a day, magic spoon, you'll take away one of the meals. You could have a bowl of magic spoon cereal mm -hmm. and, you know, and whatever, a slice of cheese or something, and you're good. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a good snack. He's dead now. <laughs> because they hit him with a car. He had a horrible life. No, he didn't have a horrible life. He didn't really have a horrible life, Ben. He had a good life, but one day it ended <laughs> in the driveway of his house. <laughs> And his parents still let me come over for cereal after we buried him. They were like, hey, you can come over anytime you want because you and John used to love cereal. And and I was like, yeah, thank you so much. And they're like, we're still going to buy it. Even though we don't eat it, they said, we're going to buy it for John. Mm -hmm. And you know how you pour out booze at the grave of like an OG, yeah, an you, original gangster? You pour a 40 out. You pour yeah. a 40 out yeah. of Old English or yeah. some such. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we would just pour... <laughs> Lucky Charms out on the floor for John. Even those parents did, like, they intentionally hit him with the car. That was never proven, but I saw it. I saw it from my porch. <laughs> Guys, here's the thing. If you don't buy Magic Spoon, they're going to get mad. So you have to buy Magic Spoon because otherwise they're going to get really mad at the ad. But if all of you buy Magic Spoon, they can't get mad at what I say. And that's truly the fun thing about comedy. It is a good cereal. Like, everyone I give it to likes it. Yes. Whitney, Whitney, Whitney eats it all the time, you know. And she's dyed her hair nine colors in the past month, so she's doing well. <laughs> so I would just say to buy this cereal so that I don't get in trouble, that's magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. To build your own custom variety box and try it today, magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. There's great flavors. Okay, cocoa, fruity, frosted and blueberry flavors, pressed Brand new flavors, including peanut butter and cinnamon. These are really great. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. What do you think about that spoon? What do you think about that spoon? That magic spoon. New Year's is coming up. You know what's coming up. You know what's coming out there. You know what's coming up. You know what's coming. You know what it is. New Year's resolutions. Changes in the air. 2020 was a bitch. 2021 is going to be a lot better. Okay, magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. You know what it is. Zero grams of sugar. 11 grams of protein. Three net grams of carbs in each serving. Okay? You can build your own custom variety box. 
This cereal is keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, GMO-free. I love Magic Spoon. The fruity flavor tastes exactly like Fruit Loops. It's really amazing. It's honestly too good to be true. It's a great snack. If you're on a low-carb meal plan, it gets rid of a, a, a snack or a meal. Perfect. Really good. It's great. People love the breakfast routine. Some people love cereal. Um, I love cereal. Why are you shaking your head? Oh, I was like, I love it so much too. Like, you know. Why aren't you dressed like I'm dressed? <laughs> well, I got the Adidas on. Shut up. You understand that I show up ready to work? <laughs> and you look like shit. And that's going to be a problem. If it's not remedied, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon to build your own custom variety box and try it today. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon to build your own custom variety box. It's great cereal. It's a great way to support our show. It's a great way to support your body and immune health, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't want a lot of sugar in your diet. Bad for your immune system. I just don't understand why you would come to work looking so ridiculous. <laughs> I don't. Un I personally don't understand it, but I understand that you feel that you're not taking it seriously. And we have a new studio, and I want you to start to take it seriously. That's all. That's what I'm saying. Do you understand that? I understand. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon, right? Mm hmm Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. And use the code, you get free shipping. Use the code Tim Dillon. Good for them. I love cereal. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. That's what you got to do. You got to grab a variety pack of cereal and try it today. It's zero sugar, 11 grams of protein. It has three net grams of carbs in each serving. So many have asked, and now you can finally build your very own custom variety box. You can choose from the best-selling cocoa, fruity, frosted, and blueberry, plus brand new flavors, including peanut butter and cinnamon. I really love the fruity flavor. It tastes exactly like Fruit Loops. It's exactly like... The Fruit Loops that you grew up with as a kid. This is for people that really want to have something sweet but not have any of the, the carbs or the sugar, okay? I'm telling you right now, this is a great thing if you're on, if it's a keto-friendly, if you're on a diet that requires you to severely limit your carbs and sugar. This is a way to replace a meal. You can have it if you work in an office, which nobody does now, but eventually people are going to again. It's easy to bring with you. You can use it. It's an easy meal replacement. It's a great breakfast replacement, especially... If you're on a ketogenic or a diet like that, you get up, you have a bowl of Magic Spoon, you go on about your day, whatever, a little a high protein Greek yogurt, you know, then you then you do the meats and the cheeses and the things like that later on in the day. But this is a great way to do it. Or if you love dessert and you like something sweet after you have a keto or a you know whatever low carb meal, you can add a little Magic Spoon and it's sweet. Is it sweet? And it's a little pricey. And the reason it's pricey is because it's sweetened with, you know, monk fruit extract and all these things that are actually natural sweeteners. They're not sugar. You know, they're absolutely not sugar. And that, so that's the difference. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, GMO-free. Okay? This is the type of thing that a lot of people are getting into right now. They're getting into it because it is the new year and it is time for a new them. A lot of you are sitting out there and you're sick of being a fat slug and you don't know how to change your life, okay? You're a fat slug and you disgust yourself. The odors that emanate from your body sicken you. You're rotting away, a literal corpse sitting there like a bloated body they found in the river that kids <laughs> poke a stick at. And you're sick of that. You're sick of taking pictures of yourself from different angles and putting on dating apps and taking photos from up there and people see the top of your head. Who are you fucking kidding? You're sick of FaceTiming people like this, holding your phone so high your fucking arm is fucking sore because you keep taking an aerial drone shot of your fucking disgusting body. I know when I've been there, it's time to change it today. You're sick of looking in the mirror and looking so close at it that you can literally only see your eyes, which are the only nice things about you. Everything else has fallen apart. Your fat is all clumped up and it just disgusting globs in different places. You're sick of looking at yourself. You're sick of looking at that old high school picture where you look somewhat decent, but in fact, not even that great, to be honest, but a hell of a lot better than you do now. I mean, you imagine that 
If you die, they're going to just wheel you out in a wheelbarrow and then dump your body in a ditch. You don't even deserve a funeral. You're disgusting. You're a repulsive mess, a mass of orb of flesh. You hate it and you're disgusting. You know there's all the fat activists and people that tell you to feel good about yourself, but they don't exist in the real world. They're only on Twitter and it only matters if you're a millionaire like Lizzo who can shake her big ass. But even she's trying to make her ass smaller because you know what? After a while you say to yourself, I'm sick of having all this ass. You know what I mean? Unless you like a big ass and you need a big ass in which case you can purchase a big ass, but they don't advertise on my show. And if they do, I'll change my tune on that. But the point is that eventually you have to stop it. Stop the insanity, as Susan Powder used to say, that the spiky-haired lesbian that looked like Bart Simpson. She did a lot of stuff in the 90s. I don't know what happened to her now. Probably died of a methamphetamine overdose. It's not my problem. We're moving on now. The diet world is moving on to paleo and keto, and everything ends with an O, and it's all about getting back to the earth and nature and natural things. And that's why we're advertising this cereal, because it doesn't have all the bullshit in it, but it feels like it does. Your marriage isn't real, but it feels like it is. Your kids don't love you, but it feels like they do. No one respects you at your job, but it feels like they might. Do you see your entire life is pretend? Why not add a fucking cereal to complete the cycle of delusion and nightmares that you live in all the fucking time? Got it? Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. How many times do I have to tell you to go to magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon? How many times? How many times do I have to tell you to go to magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon and grab a variety pack and try it today? Okay. Zero sugar, 13, 14 grams of protein, four net carbs in each serving, 140 calories a serving, keto friendly. Gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, GMO-free. Fruity flavor is great. Tastes exactly like Fruit Loops. You mix cocoa flavor with the peanut butter. It tastes like a peanut butter cup. It tastes exactly like regular cereal from your childhood, but it is super nutritious. It's delicious, but super healthy cereal that brings joy to your mornings or afternoons or evenings. Because people eat cereal in the evening, and we forget about those people because they're very sad and they're alone, and their lives are horrible. But they eat cereal in the evening alone by their window, and they pet their cat, and they just they just have fantasies of aliens landing and ridding them from this hellish existence. But as they sit there in the grips of a depression that we can't even explain to you, they often feel comforted by the peanut butter and cocoa mixture or the fruity flavor. MagicSpoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Grab a variety pack and try today. And be sure to use our promo code Tim Dillon at checkout to save $5. Guys, if you don't use a promo code, what are we doing? T-I-M-D-I-L-L-O-N. Tim, my, my dad got the dumb wallet and didn't use a promo code. It's like, what an idiot. Zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. Only 140 calories a serving. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, GMO-free. We've got exciting news. Magic Spoon will be releasing two amazing new flavors, cookies and cream and maple waffle. If you, like many other people, are committed to health but want to start your day with cookies and cream and maple waffle. Comforting, indulgent combination. I don't know what it is. This is the ultimate treat yourself combo. So make sure you get some while you can. Get it while you can. Remember that Janet Chapman song? Get it while you can, but don't turn your back on love. Build your own box. That's also, you can do that now with your gender. Build your own box. Mm -hmm. You can build a custom brand. Cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, and cinnamon. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon and use the code Tim Dillon to save $5 off. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon and use the code Tim Dillon to save $5 off. Zero grams of sugar. 13 to 14 grams of protein, only 4 net grams of carbs, 140 calories a serving. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, GMO-free. You can build your own box or get a variety. Cocoa. Fruity, frosted, peanut butter, cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter. Stop being fat. Blueberry and cinnamon are also new. Get a fucking 
Promo code magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. What are you going to do? Cereal is good for everybody. You can be healthy and eat like shit. You can be healthy and eat like shit. You know what I'm talking about. It's Magic Spoon, folks. Magicspoon.com. You know what it is. It's a sugar cereal without any sugar. You know what it is. High quality sweeteners like monk fruit. You know what it is. I love cereal, but the best thing about cereal is that it tastes good. And the worst thing about it is that it makes you a fat piece of shit. But what if I have a cold? What if cereal that you ate, that you liked, was actually healthy for you? How great is that? That's what this is. It's cereal, but it's healthy for you. Even if you put it in your ass. If you eat it through your ass, it still has zero grams of sugar. <clears throat> Truly, like if you if you d let it dissolve in your ass and get the nutrients that way, mm -hmm. it will still have four net grams of carbs. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Remember to get your next delicious bowl of guilt-free cereal at magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon and use the code Tim Dillon to save $5 off. I love cereal. It's one of my favorite things, but sometimes I say to myself, Jesus fucking Christ, it's fucking sugar-filled. I'm going to kill myself and everyone I know. I'm such a sugar pig. Oh, man, I love licking that sugar. <laughs> it's just like sex. You feel it all down your throat, that thick sugar. Mm -hmm. Fuck. I want sugar in my fucking face mm -hmm. i look and i feel when i eat sugar i feel happy but then sad and i and i sleep sometimes i pull into a parking lot and i sleep in the back seat of my car and i go to sleep and if someone wakes me up i say fuck you mm -hmm. fuck you mm -hmm. and i just start screaming and they go i just want to make sure you're okay and i'm like fuck you because i've had sugar sugar is very bad the happiest people i know don't eat sugar they just eat bone marrow mm -hmm. They're happier. Sugar is bad, and it's October. It is so hard to not eat sugar in October. Candy and Halloween and pumpkin muffins and apple tartlets and pecan fucking pie. And you just lose your mind with the sugar. I mean, you just... I mean, the other day, I was eating a pumpkin fucking... I was eating a, a pumpkin scone, you know, a hard one. Oh, wow. And I was gnawing on it. And... and and someone came up to me and they said, does that have sugar in it? And I said, you stupid fuck. Of course it does. And they go, are there any sugar-free scones? And you know what I did? I beat the living shit out of them. And it was a diabetic on dialysis <laughs> who was very weak, but I attacked them. And they had, they were older. And every time you hit them, you could see their blood clotting in real time. Mm -hmm. They had those, they were like very frail in their skin. And I just started wailing on them, throwing haymakers. And you saw this blood all over there, but their eyes were like sunken in. <laughs> to their head like a demon and they were just like I just want a sugar free and I say no sugar free none, none. but then I remembered that I should have <laughs> told them about Magic Spoon cereal because in all actuality Magic Spoon is sugar free and that's what makes it good mm. so if you go to magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon get a custom bundle of cereal and try it today and be sure to use our promo code Tim Dillon they use high quality sweeteners like monk fruit there's zero grams of sugar 13 to 14 grams of protein four net carbs in each serving only 140 calories a serving it's keto friendly gluten free grain free soy free low carb I'm telling you right now I think I killed that person I'm not sure mm -hmm. but I wish I told them about mag Magic Spoon instead of physically assaulting them mm. because they were elderly and very sick. And that's where I sometimes regret my actions. Do you know what I mean? I feel like you would have, wouldn't have done that if you had known that they just brought back two super popular flavors. Which ones did they bring back? Cookies and cream and maple waffle permanently. Here's, uh, let me tell you this. It could have gone one of two ways because if I knew that, I would have either A, not done it at all, or would have been so excited I would have slit their throat. <laughs> I don't know which way it would have gone if I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know? That's the difficult thing. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon to grab a custom bundle of cereal. Try today. Buy the Magic Spoon, folks. You need to do it. Everyone I know that's using Magic Spoon is a beautiful person, inside and out. Mm -hmm. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon. Use the promo code Tim Dillon. $5 off. You get $5 off. 
we're all going to eat a lot on Thanksgiving, but you know how to get back on the wagon? Magic Spoon cereal. Cereal that has zero grams of sugar, 13, 14 grams of protein, four net carbs in each serving. It's only 140 calories per serving. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. So many cool flavors. Cookies and cream, maple, waffle. Wow, they're back permanently. So many fun flavors. Cocoa, fruity, frosty, Fruit Loop, bingo. So many good ones. I'm telling you right now, I've been trying to cut down on carb, sugar, and unhealthy food. I realize I basically can't eat anything anymore. Except Magic Spoon. I eat it all day, every day. I eat it for three meals. I eat it no matter where I am. If I'm on a plane, I take out Magic Spoon. I always have a bowl and a spoon with me. Some almond milk. I eat Magic Spoon on the turlet. I eat Magic Spoon in the shower. No matter where I am, what I'm doing. I've gotten four accidents eating Magic Spoon driving down the highway. There's nothing better than pulling out a bowl of cereal no matter where you are. You go to a restaurant with friends, nothing on the menu, no problem. Pull out a bag of Magic Spoon. Ask the waiter for a cup. Put the magic spoon in a cup. Ask them if they have any almond milk, unsweetened. If they don't, don't worry about it. It's good with water. Eat magic spoon cereal while all of your friends stare at you at a restaurant and then tell them, hey, guys, I would eat what you guys are eating, but I'm choosing to be healthy. Magic spoon is great. Eat it wherever you are. You can eat it. You could use it in sex. Put magic spoon in someone's butt and eat it out of someone's butt. There's nothing wrong with that. Magic spoon is, is hot. It's hot. Have your lover get on the bed and then throw a magic spoon on them and then eat it off. You know why? Because it's only 140 calories a serving. Two, so you can eat one serving out of someone's ass and it's 140 calories. Does that sound good? We're all trying to be better. Go to magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon to grab a custom bundle of cereal and try it today. Use promo code Tim Dillon at checkout to save $5 off your order. Magicspoon.com slash Tim Dillon to grab a custom bundle of cereal and try it today. 